I'm King Sports Information Director Travis Child here with Head Men's Basketball Coach George Pitts. How are you doing this morning, Coach? Doing great. How are you doing? Good, good. Uh, Tubbo, basketball season is not too far away here, opening on uh, Sunday here against UVA Wise. How has the practice gone this fall, and what have the, have the freshmen and the newcomers adjusted well to your style of play and to college ball so far? Well, practices have gone, have gone well. We've, uh, you know, we're in our fourth week right now. Um, I really like our team. Our guys are working hard. We have good leadership. Our young guys are starting to grasp what we're doing. Uh, you know, it takes a while. Some of them pick it up quicker than others. Uh, but overall, I'm very pleased uh, with, with what we've been able to accomplish so far. Yeah, you've had a couple exhibitions to both at home so far. Uh, Emory and Henry last Saturday, and then VI the week before, Virginia and Vermont. What did you learn from those games, and what are you trying to improve on after seeing the team performance against other competition? Well, when you play an exhibition, um, you know, you're trying to accomplish a couple of things. And one is for the guys to play under the lights, so to speak, where they can play in front of some fans, um, where they can play against hopefully good competition, uh, and certainly we accomplished that. Uh, secondly, I think probably the biggest, the biggest plus uh, from the two exhibitions is that we are starting to settle on our top 10 or 12 players. Um, and they, you know, they picked that up, um, and because of their effort, teamwork, uh, performances, they're able to get in that top 10. Uh, we play our third one tonight at Bluefield, so this one tonight will be more, uh, more game-like mm -hmm. in that we are going to uh, play it more like a game. Uh, the other two we played everyone. Uh, tonight everyone may play, but it will be uh, um, if that would be the case in a game. Gotcha. Um, also, looking at the schedule, looking ahead here, you schedule pretty tough this year. You got four teams on the schedule that are in the top 25. What's the philosophy for you around that, and what are you trying to get out of a tough schedule like that? Well, historically, I've always wanted to play as good a schedule as I can play mm -hmm. um, because I think it'll pay dividends. You know, like you said, we play uh, LMU, precinct ranked fifth, fifteenth in the country. We play them in uh, two weeks. Uh, we got USC Aiken, uh, preseason seventh or eighth in the country. We got them in December. Uh, Bellman, preseason number four. We got them in November. Southern Indiana, preseason 18. We got them in November. So, um, in addition to our conference schedule, which is extremely tough, I just feel like if you play good teams, they're going to expose weaknesses in you. And hopefully you can get those weaknesses improved uh, before you go into your conference schedule. Um, so that's, you know, that's ultimately the, 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 the thinking behind playing a top schedule. And, you know, at the end of the year, if you don't win your conference tournament, an at-large berth is going to be based on your D2 performance. So, um, you know, hopefully we can, can get a win or two against these top four teams, and that'll be a feather in our cap come uh, tournament selection time. Mm -hmm. uh, with, with that tough schedule, uh, you, you're also trying to replace a couple of, couple of all-conference performers from last year, and Eddie, Eddie Piccinini and Jason Seymour. But you return a solid core from last season, too, including a trio of seniors um, in Scotty Hendricks, Brandon Comp Crompton, and Michael Fortune that should lead the team this year, right? Well, you know, we lost two really good players in Eddie and Jason, without a doubt. And, um, you know, sometimes you have to replace a good player with two players. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, Eddie played the two spot for us. And right now, um, Scotty Hendricks, who's a senior, and C.J. Good, who's a freshman, will be playing that position. And I think both of them are going to make big contributions to our team. Um, and Jason played the four for us. And right now we have Shamari Watts, a junior, junior college transfer. 
and Hunter LeBeau, a freshman, uh, that, are, that are playing right now, that are ahead of the pack right now at that spot. So, you know, a lot of times you have to rely on more than one person for a, a really good, when you lose a really good player. Um, you know, our other two seniors, Mike and Brandon, we're expecting big things from them. You know, Mike has been a pretty much a starter for three years for us at either the one or two. Right now, he is starting for us at the point position. And Brandon Crompton, we feel, feel assured we'll see a lot of minutes at the five position for us. And then going in with the freshmen and newcomers here, is there any that have caught your eye so far in practice that you're looking to that could maybe do big things for you this year? Well, I mentioned, I mentioned uh, three of them there, and uh, CJ and Hunter and Shamari. Uh, you know, also, uh, I think Dorian Albritton, who, who transferred from BMI, he's a sophomore. I think he, um, you know, he's another newcomer that I think um, is going to see some, some big minutes for us. Um, you know, it's possible that Mac Owens may, may get some time there. You know, the thing about new people, is it, it takes them a while to grasp what you're doing um, and it, it, it some of them pick it up quicker than others so I may have mentioned a name now and in two months it may be somebody else uh, so you know that, that's what you hope happens when you have new and young kids that, that they're just going to continue to get better and can make big contributions to your team it's one of the nice things about a long season, you give time, give people players time to progress and you never lose a good surprise at the end of the year. Um, there's always high expectations here for King men's basketball. Um, it seems to be risen a little bit this year as a preseason favorite in the conference. Does that change expectations at all or is it still kind of business as usual? Well, what somebody says in preseason uh, to me has a little bearing on what on what you hope to achieve. I mean, our goal is to win the conference championship, make it to the NCAAs, and hopefully compete for a championship. That's our goal. Whether they picked us first or last, that would still be our goal. Um, we're excited about it. Our conference is really tough. Um, I think there's probably four or five teams that, that have a legitimate chance of winning the, winning the title, but we we certainly are focused on doing that. Um, and I'll be honest with you, we haven't even talked about that as a team. I'm sure a lot of the guys know that. Um, I haven't brought it up because they know what we want to do, uh, whether we talk about it or not. All right, thank you, Coach, and uh, good luck this season. And we'll see you at the Student Center on Sunday at 3 p.m. when you tip off against UVA Wise. Thank you very much, Travis.